Hello everybody. Anybody listening or watching this video, I say hello. What I'm going to cover today is uh, setting up audio for Pow Talk in Windows 7. And one of the things I'm going to go start out covering is uh, hopefully you got Windows Service Pack 1 installed on Windows 7. Is uh, one of the things we found out in a room I hang out in is uh, seems like these meters or these uh, audio things here they work better they don't wander around and what we do is uh, we right as we go to our power top icon that we would launch the application either here or in the start menu if you don't have it on your desktop you know you would just go down to power talk click on that and you'd right click on that icon there self I got mine on my desktop too so I right click on that and we'll go to properties left click on properties then I'm going to go to this compatibility tab now I've already got mine set up but I'm going to un if you don't you'd come in you'd see it probably like this that's going to be grayed out and it's going to say Windows XP Service Pack 3 now I always thought myself that if you installed a program on Windows 7 it should be running in Windows 7 compatibility mode and uh, unless I tell it otherwise but I guess that's not completely true so I'm going to check it and I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to go to Windows 7 whoops didn't get her stuck here there we go we got her clicked then another thing we found that works good too is uh, where it says privilege level down here at the bottom of that same page just click run this program as administrator now when you launch it you're going to get maybe your screen to turn dark you say yeah you know and go on but uh, it just seems to work good where uh, the sliders and everything don't wander on you you get your mic set and everything pretty well every time you go back in the room it's going to be set the way I'm going to bring up I'm just left clicking right now it says mixers it shows the room and we'll go here to the speaker level and we'll go up and down see that sliding that along with the video, uh, uh, sound cards settings and everything controls there so now we've covered that and another thing you might be wondering is well I see this meter bouncing around on the screen that's a meter that we use uh, we try to adjust our audio in the room I'm in people that use it try to adjust it to where it only peaks about four or five and that way everybody can sort of be at the same level you're not moving your speaker you know somebody a little louder than the other you can or somebody's real low try to get everybody's for using the mic about the same level it just helps out a handy tool when you're testing around and playing okay now we're going to get into the sound properties and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my speaker icon by the clock and we'll go up here to recording devices and in recording devices a lot of times you're going to bring it up I'm going to uncheck ease I'm remaking this video and I usually have it set up when I'm making it but you're going to come into a lot of times and you might not see everything see right now I got my stereo mix set as default I got my microphone there's a little it's it's enabled and it's got the little headset it's still it's working with stereo mix got the little looks like a phone headset for your home phone and to look at that you know, if I had the microphone as default and I wasn't going to never play any music or broadcast anything over the sound card but my voice, I would have that set as default. But you highlight that no, no, and go to properties, you got your level tabs. This and where you're going to see your mic boost, your settings for your mic to bring it up and down. You've got a USB mic, you want to drop that maybe down to. Uh, the 10 DDB they seem to run a little hotter you'll be running that lower I sort of got ahead of myself too here so now you might not see stereo mix or you might not see everything you got hooked up just using your sound card so should have covered this first but I'm covering it now is right click where there's no text and check is show 
disable device, right click again, show disconnected devices. They all show up. Now here's my webcam mic. I've got it disabled because uh, it's USB. I don't use it. I've got my own microphone. I use a headset a lot. And uh, so I got it disabled. There's my stereo mix, my line in, my microphone in the rear of the tower. I'm, right now I'm plugged into the front. You know, and I'll highlight this. I'll go to properties, levels, and there I can see my stereo mix setting. And one thing I wanted to show you is to when you got your stereo mix set as default and you're using your microphone your microphone control where I showed that slide setting in the levels tab the stereo mix takes over now watch I drop this see that now my stereo mix control is my mic level so we're going to put that back here about where I had it but that's how that works so you just have to remember that if you got stereo mix set as your default device and you're talking on your mic and you got it set up like this cancel that that this here I said highlight it go to properties level tabs will have no control over it because you watch I'll, I'll even bring up the mic thing again see it's not even moving it's moving it in a stereo mix now if you're just on the mic as default there's where you'd want to go to adjust it. And if you did what I said, just adjust it anyway. But that lets you know where those settings is in your mic boost. Now another thing I want to cover. So you know you go to playback tab. Just click on the playback tab. Highlight your speaker con or whatever's your default device you're listening to it out of. And uh, go to properties. And there's a level tab in there. Let's go to levels. There's my master volume control. Got a PC beep here. I take it that's a little speaker that gives you a beep, like your beep codes if you're booting and bias and something's wrong. There's the microphone I'm not using. There's my front mic that I am using. There's my light in control on that side. Now, if you was to come in, I'm going to mute this one. If you was to come in and say this one here was muted my mic wouldn't work so you want to you want to check that too you know if you're somebody saying well you can't hear can't hear you can't hear you and you know your mic's plug in and you got it set go there and look uncheck it. you know get that get that red circle with that line in it out of there this other stuff I don't mess with I've just pretty well left alone I know there's some enhancements equalizer pitch shift and all that uh, and and I and I have a real tech high definition audio sound card built into this. So it's on the motherboard. You know, I don't know if I messed with that one or not. Whenever I got this tower, I got it set on 24 bit, 480 hertz, which says it's a uh, studio quality. Then I'll get out of here. That about covers <coughs> most of excuse me most of those settings. And say you record. Now another thing I want to cover is if you're using say I didn't have a headset, I didn't have a microphone and I was using this camera, webcam mic that I got disabled. If I was going to play music and I have stereo mix. I would have to go back and forth. I would have to, when I was talking, I'd have to have this set as default. And I would have to have to just talk. And this would be sitting there. Sometimes it's grayed out when you got a stereo mix in there. But I'd probably have it disabled. Then whenever I got done talking, or and I wanted to play music, I would have to disable this microphone, go in here and set enable this, set it as default, play my music, get done with that, go back to talk, and I'd have to come, you know, turn that off, come back and turn that on you. A little bit more work. 
And while another thing I forgot to cover here, I'm going to go back to playback. I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to go back to that setting where in the level tabs where we've seen that at. That red mark here. Like I said, that's not using this. Now, if you're, uh, if you got your stereo mix where you're using your mic and stereo mix together to be able to talk and play music through your sound card. And say there's a noise in the room, you got background noise, or you know you got kids, they might come in hollering or something, and you don't want the people to hear it. Like on this, I would, I would, de I would mute this mic. Then once I got done playing the music, and back to where I wanted to talk, I would unmute it. You know, I would have to do that. But a lot of your headsets to plug in your sound cards will have a switch on them a mute mic and you could go up there and click that switch and mute it some of your desk mics might even have that switch on there you know you could do that without having to go even even in your sound properties you could sit and play your music you know and plus by having it set up like this on so the recordings I got my stereo mix a microphone with the headset there if you're going to DJ and you want to be able to talk something about the song or talk over the song while it's playing you'd want it set up like I have now okay I think I've covered most of the stuff on that now I want to get out of here cancel out then this meter here like I said we use it in a room and I would like to bring up this info I gotta go here for I don't know why I made it on my laptop and copied it over here but um, we'll bring this up you wanted that meter write that website down www.darkwood.demon.co.uk slash pc slash meter dot htm the meter I'm using here is what they call the mini ppm there's other meters on there and I don't know if I brought it up or not but if not I will cover it again a lot of your laptops won't have stereo mix and stuff on it some of them will, some of them won't. Depends on what kind of sound system they put in there and everything, and the vendor. But it, this is a, uh, the room I hang out in. This is their website right here. Technicaljazz.co.za slash start.him. Grumpy, which owns the Hall Technical Jazz Room. Uh, or all the Technical Jazz Room. It's a good room to come in if you need some help. He has put a lot of information together. That's the room's website. He's got even maybe workarounds for if you don't have stereo mix possibility. A lot of good information. Malware removal. Uh, he's tested. The guys has tested the stuff in the room. They they don't put anything up there. They don't don't really see that would work or uh, benefit you or it could be bad for you. With that said, we're going to shut the video down. I'm going to close this out. And I hope you have a good day, good evening, whatever time you're watching the video. Catch you later.